Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Club. This time we are once again looking through a selection of Belgian beers courtesy of Beer 52. For today's episode we're going to be going through some of the finest Belgian bottled beers to give our taste buds a real feel of, uh, of Le Chic Belgique. Apologies in advance if I absolutely butcher some of the pronunciations of these names again. Uh, but let's go and get started with something fruity with Rodenbach's Fruitage. This is a delicious, refreshing, red-brown coloured ale. This balanced beer is both fruity and sweet and sour, thanks to it being made from two-year-old cask-matured ale and red fruits. Fruity, sweet and juicy. This is the ideal introduction to Rodenbach before you move on to discovering some of the more mature ales in their range. Or it's just a delicious way to quench your thirst. If I was to have this again, which is very likely, I'll probably serve it with some ice and a slice of lime and mint. Mmm, fantastic. Next we have Steenbrugger Blonde, a blonde top fermentation Abbey beer with a fruity, slightly herbal aroma that combines perfectly with its warm, full malty taste and notes of clove and cinnamon with a light vanilla aftertaste. Light, very smooth, well balanced and very easy to drink. I wanted one, I wanted another one straight after drinking this one. It's a shame there was only one bottle of it in the box. Um, anyone that enjoys Lef beers, which is another Belgian favourite here on the channel, will find a lot to appreciate with this Blonde Abbey beer. Uh, speaking of Left, we have got the keg of Left Ritual 9, which will be getting reviewed on this channel very, very soon, along with the uh, Hertog jam that you can uh, see advertised in the background there. More Perfect Draft beer reviews um, coming up soon. Next up we have Brorau de Horn Cornet Oaked. This one was a little keen to get into the glass as you can see here. Oops, <laughs> not everyone is going to have a massive head of foam like this. This is a strong blonde Belgian beer with a subtle wood flavour, a note of vanilla and a velvety mouthfeel. The well-rounded oaked beer balances the fruitiness of the yeast and the sweet vanilla notes of the wood, leaving a warming feeling in the finish along with smooth bitterness. There's a real depth of taste here without anything being overpowered. It's smooth, light and malty. Delicious. Let's finish this video off with a couple of dark beers. The first one being Stouterick from the Brussels-based brewery Brasserie de la Seine. I think there must be something wrong with my pouring because I got a massive head on this one as well. This is a dark ruby coloured stout. Um, this has a marvellous velvety tone, balanced in the mouth by a touch of coffee with a dry and refreshing finish. Fantastic job. And finally, let's go for the one that's probably going to be the hardest one for me to pronounce. <clears throat> Broro Harchitz Toglo Brewing. Let me know how I did there. This is a Belgian Abbey beer and it's another lively one. I can't understand this. I've had all of these stood upright in my beer fridge. They've not been laid down or anything, so... Nevertheless, I'm making a right mess here, so please excuse the massive head again. Uh, this dark beer has a sweet aroma of vanilla on the nose, and then onto the taste, it's dark, fruity, smooth and earthy, with all the delicate bitterness of dark chocolate for the finish. Brilliant. Again, uh, this would be perfect to go with a roast Sunday dinner. Absolutely fantastic. So, that is it for Belgian beers for the moment, but for next time, we're going to be paying another visit to Aldi to try out their new 10-4 brewing range, including two new beers that have recently been released. Aldi have been a bit hit and miss in places with their craft beers. We've, had a, we've, we've tried out a few different ones here on the channel. Some of them have been rather good, some of them have been a little disappointing. So, how will they do this time? Well, subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see that video when it first goes live. 
In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this particular video, then please leave a like and a comment and be sure to share this video across all your various social media. And why not check out some of my other videos as well? I don't just review beers, you know, I review lots of other different things. Let's, um, uh, we've got sort of classic video games on here, we've got classic movies, we've got all kinds of stuff going off on this channel. So why not check out some of the other videos that I do here and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Um, so, thanks for stopping by the Mavis Tavern, and we'll catch you again next time.